Coming up, Jonathan goes diving a mile above sea level at the best dive site in Denver, Colorado, the Downtown Aquarium. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. I'm fortunate to have visited some of the best dive sites on Earth. Places like Indonesia, the Galapagos, the Caribbean, and even Antarctica. Today, I'm adding another special place to that list. Denver, Colorado. No, seriously, Zach of All Trades and I are visiting the incredible downtown aquarium in Denver to see their super cool exhibits. Denver's pretty far from the nearest ocean, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have some amazing dives today. I meet up with Wendy Murray, the dive operations manager at the aquarium. Hello. Hey, Wendy. Welcome to the Denver Downtown Aquarium. Thanks for having me. Are you excited? 5,000 feet high sharks. Yeah, almost 6,000. Is it really? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> wow, awesome. Well, let's go check it out. You ready to take a tour? Yes. All right, let's go. We start our day with a tour of the aquarium and we have the place to ourselves because they're not open to the public for another two hours. Our journey begins in the North America exhibit where we meet an alligator snapping turtle. So we do have an alligator snapping turtle. We're guessing he's about 96. At 96 years old, he's one of the oldest known snapping turtles. And we have perfect timing as they're about to feed him. Oh, he sees it now. He sees it now. He's so cool. I love him. He gets his shell scrubbed occasionally just to get some of that algae off. He's got buoyancy issues. He needs a BC. <laughs> there he goes. The weird thing is, they haven't named him. They have a number of exhibits containing freshwater fish of North America, like trout, salmon, and even sturgeon, and a parrot. This is Molly. Hi, Molly. <laughs> she is very verbal. Molly's very verbal. Molly's daily exercise regimen involves climbing a rope. All right, All right, so here she goes. She's gonna climb up that rope up to Ryan, our mammals curator. Wow, look at that. So again, this is just utilizing her muscles, some conditioning. Soon we arrive at the rainforest exhibit where they have lots of exotic tropical fish, like the archer fish. So oh we God. have archer fish. Have you seen an archer fish? Oh fit? no! Okay, they're really cool. So Lori's gonna Lori's gonna show you what to do, and then okay. you're gonna do it after. Right. So. So they're gonna spit. What the heck? <laughs> oh wow! The archer fish has learned how to catch food by shooting a jet of water at bugs above the surface. They have incredible aim. The aquarium staff keep them sharp by letting them shoot crickets out of their hands. That's amazing. They have really good aim. We pass some other great exhibits, but I'm looking for something big enough to swim in. Touch pool. Oh, you can't man. swim in this one, <laughs> but you can touch. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Hello, 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 you're so squishy. Wow. Oh, she's gonna feed the Southerns if you want to. Oh, let's eat. check it out. Wow, the Southerns get some pretty big food. It's like a half a mackerel. Do you want to feed the... Sure. Carnos? Okay. In between you gotta your hold fingers. it in your knuckles. Yep. All right. This touch tank exhibit allows people to get up close and personal with cow-nosed rays and southern stingrays. Good grief. Wow. Okay. Just, just like kinda, that. Uh, yeah. All right. So we're just going to go like this. A little bit of shrimp. All right. Dinner is served. There you go. 
There you go. You got it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you got it. All right. Almost got my watch, too. Now we're working our way into the ocean exhibits. And finally, the largest exhibit in the aquarium, the shipwreck exhibit, which simulates looking out at a coral reef from a shipwreck. So our wow. uh, final large exhibit, Whoa. this is the largest one that we have, and it is our shipwreck exhibit. It's filled with huge fish, sharks, and one of my favorite creatures. Look at the sawfish! They're so big! Sawfish are so rare that I've never seen one in the wild. Unfortunately, Wendy says only the staff usually gets to dive in this exhibit, so no sawfish for me. Fortunately, we can dive in the under the sea exhibit, so we head upstairs and go behind the scenes to gear up. These exhibits have tropical fish, so the water is warm. When we enter the exhibit, I can't believe how many fish there are. Wendy takes us on a tour, and now that the aquarium is open for the day, we have an audience. A green moray is used to the camera and doesn't mind my attention at all. A nurse shark poses for a few minutes. Nearby another animal I've never seen in the wild, a guitar fish, which is either an elongated stingray or a flattened shark, depending on your point of view. They're kind of halfway between sharks and stingrays, and they don't mind hanging out with the stingrays. I make my way to the other side of the exhibit and find two different species of morays hanging out behind a sign. Nearby, a leopard whip ray chills out. This is a somewhat uncommon species of stingray known for its long whip-like tail. And of course, it has a leopard skin pattern. This male is obviously used to people because he doesn't mind me at all. I can go right in for an eyeball close-up. dive with so many cool things to see. I loved it. After the dive, Wendy takes us over to the top of the shipwreck exhibit, which is much larger. A sandbar shark buzzes right by the swim entry point. And that's when she tells us that she got permission for us to go in so we can see the sawfish. This exhibit has a sneaky entry corridor that allows the staff to enter without disturbing the marine life. We sneak around and find a nice spot to settle down and watch the action. A sand tiger shark comes over to investigate. And right in front of me, a huge sawfish. Off 
fish are essentially rays. Their gills reside underneath their head just like a stingray, but they're long and skinny like a shark. So they're actually a lot like a guitar fish. But their distinguishing feature is the long rostrum with teeth arranged in a saw pattern. The sawfish swings its saw back and forth in the sand to catch fish. It's a super effective hunting technique. around the back of the exhibit to the other side. Over here we have a good view of the whole place. A curious Napoleon Rass comes over for a look. sand tiger sharks are curious too. Lots of aquariums have sand tigers because they're the perfect shark. They look mean and toothy, but they're actually very mellow and they won't eat the other fish in the exhibit as long as they're kept well fed. The zebra shark gets its name because in the juvenile phase it has stripes. But as the shark gets older, the stripes turn into spots. The sawfish normally just lay on the bottom, but every once in a while they like to swim around for a look. It's time to leave, so Wendy takes us back to the entrance. The Downtown Aquarium in Denver is truly one of my favorite aquariums in the world. They have such a diverse collection of incredible aquatic life to see. And it's the best ocean dive in the world at more than 5,000 feet above sea level. Denver might be almost a thousand miles from the ocean, but that doesn't mean you can't get a great glimpse into life in the blue world. Hey everyone, have you subscribed to our extras channel, Blue World Plus? It's full of great behind the scenes and additional fun content. Check it out now.